Association for Resilient Campus Design and Innovation, or ARCD, was started by a committed group of people from all different sectors, K through 12, higher education, and the nonprofit sector. We're dedicated to enhancing collaborative, place-based campus community engagement with a focus on design and innovation work. The thought was that if we can find our way in higher education toward ensuring our work is more participatory, inclusive, equitable, and collaborative, then we are very likely going to find that our outcomes in areas related to capital planning, sustainability, resiliency, our anti-racism efforts, and our community and economic development work are all going to be more impactful and long-lasting. This is because this work will be more accepted by the community, and we will have engendered insights that we were not likely to have gotten otherwise and given voice and space where we were less inclusive or equitable in our planning processes before. It was around 2008 that policymakers and thought leaders in Michigan were thinking about how to dig out of the Great Recession and looking for the next economic development movement, if you will, that could launch Michigan communities forward. And they landed on placemaking and they went all in. So they started to build the capacity for placemaking work in Michigan communities and organizations by bringing in training. One of the organizations that was tapped for building this capacity was the National Charette Institute, because there's a natural connection between using the Charette methodology for developing and implementing placemaking quickly. At the time, I was working in a project management role at the Michigan Association of Planning, and we were asked to attend this training. I had designed and delivered various workshops and dabbled in participatory planning processes in the past. And so I was excited to expand my tool bag with this thing called a charrette. I remember the first time I attended the NCI charrette training vividly because something clicked for me, something different that would transform how I designed and facilitated participatory processes. It taught me how to prepare for the engagement, how to ensure that engagement is inclusive, how to promote and optimize stakeholder engagement, how ideation and design can be used and compressed to bridge differences in understanding, and how to bring forward products for immediate action or implementation. After the training, we piloted the charrette process to develop placemaking initiatives in a few communities across Michigan, and I became a believer in the power of charrettes to transform processes and communities. I think that good things should be shared. I've become passionate about transferring the knowledge of how to build better participatory processes with practitioners through NCI. You know, design's really messy and it's not linear. And in higher education, we don't really like uh, processes that are messy. We like highly controlled, highly engineered processes where the outcomes are generally expected or even known. And there are good reasons for this, including cost containment, needs for efficiency, and, and serious time constraints. However, this can also result in significantly diminished collaboration, team integration, community input, and just generally a lack of participation in the design process. Architectural design processes that support capital planning often do not afford sufficient time for collaborators and partners to engage the design processes. Campuses that afford the process have found the time results in unexpected and welcomed outcomes, much more engagement, and much more buy-in from the communities and the stakeholders they're engaged, along with cost savings, sustainable and resilient outcomes, and higher usage rates. Because of that capacity building work in Michigan after the Great Recession, Michigan State University acquired NCI's curriculum and NCI became part of MSU. We had over 30 years of evidence demonstrating the charrette's ability to solve complex built environment problems, and we knew that charrettes worked for that. When I stepped into the role of director of NCI, one of the things that we wanted to do was to expand the use of tried, true, and tested methodology and apply it to solve other kinds of problems. So we've now used the NCI charrette in applied research, for research proposal development, and for developing policy. We're also interested in applying the charrette process in different contexts too, like for example, campuses and campus community interactions. These are uniquely challenging settings. And so we're partnering with ARCD to transfer the NCI charrette methodology into this context. ARCD is intending to provide education, technical assistance, and professional support services to our members, primarily on campuses, but also in the communities where those campuses live. And our hope is, is that our members are engaged in public interest design, adaptive resilience work, capital planning, innovation work, 
and strategic planning. And what we want to do is highlight the central role of design in place-based education, civic engagement, social justice, and community and economic development efforts. A while ago, I attended the NCI training as a planner, and I went to their basic facilitator module in Chicago. And although they have trained several higher education professionals, at this particular training, I was the only higher education professional in the session. And I left that training realizing how much it helped me when I got back to a campus, be a better consumer of architectural services, and to understand and deconstruct what I was being sold as part of a community organizing strategy. And the charrette process really is oftentimes proffered as a vehicle for receiving design input, but oftentimes it's not constructed well. And what the NCI training helped me to understand is the power of a more systematic and intentional process that sometimes needs to be longer term. I wanted more in-depth training with the Shrep process, so I followed up with a second session that they offered that integrated design thinking principles, and I realized how this approach could be leveraged in lots of processes on our campus, community planning, capital planning, and strategic planning. You know, the lack of space for real participatory processes on campuses that are not linear, but recursive and iterative is typically a function of the availability of time. However, until we begin to make time for these fuller processes, our result and outcomes will be less realized and our processes will be viewed as lacking authenticity, lacking representation from the community, and probably not up to the task at hand. And this will diminish the work and result in the impact of the process. NCI is excited to partner with ARCD to translate the charrette processes into higher education contexts and bring it to a new audience. The Complete Charette System Certificate course provides all of the content required to successfully prepare for, manage, and conduct a charrette. It contains value-add content from expert partners on public participation, facilitation, dealing with conflict, and equity and inclusion. The goal here is to introduce you to the approach and allow you to begin to acquire the skills to set up and facilitate these types of processes. Maybe just as important, it'll help you learn how to adapt these tools to your environment and make you a better consumer of this type of process. We're currently partnering with ArcD to offer an online asynchronous course with about 20 hours of content. You set the pace for working through the curriculum, and at the end, you receive a certificate of completion and you're added to NCI's exclusive practitioner database. COVID has forced us to be flexible and adaptable, and while we're currently offering this asynchronous option, we're ready to introduce other modalities, in-person classes or online synchronous versions that blend independent online learning with virtual learning labs. We don't have the timing figured out exactly yet because we're waiting to see what the future brings before we launch these, and we're looking forward to hearing from ARCD members about what can be next. But here's what I do know. We're excited for you to join us, and we're excited to share this learning opportunity with you and ARCD's members. Our vision at ARCD is to create a collaborative nexus between the campuses and their surrounding communities, built upon an inclusive and transparent process that will result in mutually beneficial outcomes, including a strengthened economic, social, and environmental infrastructure. We believe by beginning to develop training with partners like NCI, we will better equip the campus and the community to reach out and reach forward together towards these goals. And that's why I'm really excited about this partnership between ArcD and NCI. I hope you will join us.